Hey everybody, Tabras here playing Mass Effect 3. Uh, logging in, there's a conversation going on, so let's just go see what's going on. Don't you want to make sure she's safe? Well, I know how to start this fight. No. We're gonna come in and say hello. Hello. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy and I've got no reason to buy it now. This is a multi-core shield prototype based on cyclonic barrier tech. It'll hold off your guns for hours. Let's talk to somebody. Sanders, this is Shepard. I've got some scared students hiding behind a shield prototype. How do we know it isn't just Cerberus rigging the voice? You could test for distortion peaks, Isaac. Like I did when you faked a voice print to break curfew. And if that's Octavia's shield, remind her that I docked her half a grade because application of non-concurrent forces overloaded the emitters. Thanks, Sanders. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Take uh, the shield with you. Thanks. I recommend taking the shield with you. No? Can we take it? No? It's gone? No. Cool. Um. Well. So what we're doing now is finishing up saving the children from the school. You couldn't tell. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Huh. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Yeah, we can use that for the guy at Orta. Whatever how we pronounce it. Memorial Hospital. Oh. Hmm? Hey sir. Does that mean That's what it means. <laughs> That's what it means. Ah, <sighs> all oh, the glass is broken. Okay, so it looks like we can rockets and something else. <laughs> That's what it's like. Fun atlases. <laughs> the shuttle's right over there. Head over in pairs. Rodriguez mm -hmm. with me. Commander behind you. Well. This is fun and all, but uh. Judge, Eric. Yeah, it shielded nothing. Oh no! Turn fast, that's a problem. Dang it. There's another one. What's shaking this? Radar or something. The shuttles are almost ready. 
Turn your shoulder, whatever. It seems my gun's stronger than yours. Everyone get to the shadow. That's fun. And of course, we probably have to get out. Hurry, Commander. The Normandy has pulled the cruiser out of position. We need to leave now. I'm working on it. Oh, thanks. I think we should take one of those with us. Research it. Yeah. Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where's Rodriguez? She needs covering fire. She's not gonna make it. Nobody's shooting. Don't we have other guys? Hmm. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Some of us didn't get off. Jason Prangley came to Grissom when he was six years old. Barely spoke a word. He was so shy back then. To watch him grow up, only to... <sighs> he was always reading, studying battles. I called him a brown noser. Commander, I recommend we rethink the student's role. With their instructor dead, and Ensign Prangley... Yeah, They've we'll got impressive safe. barriers. They could help reinforce key positions. A support role? Yes. Yes, they'd be ideal for that. So Prangley died and we're not even gonna fight? You'll be saving lives, just like Ensign Prangley did. Remember his name. And when you go up against your first Reaper, make sure they don't forget it either. Thank you, Commander. We won't. Or you might get toppled by the skyscraper once. Who knows? Shepard, damned if you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give you permission to go all formal on me. Then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. Nope. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus' hands. I wish I could have gotten all of them out of there. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer. And we're throwing them into battle. Yep. God damn it, I hate this war. Too bad. Hackett didn't mention in his report. Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcoin. We just talked to him. I'm not doing it again. Alright, that was a good mission. A little longer than we wanted to be, but I thought it was fun. Let's talk to... Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ships, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Hmm. Yeah, why not? I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. Jeez. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. 
The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Okay, what about uh, Palavan? How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Okay. Very Thank nice. you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palafin. And mine with Earth. Okay. That's all he had to tell us. Let's get back to the station. See if we can find another mission. See the feed from Palavin? Right. It's brutal. I'm amazed the Turians are holding. The birds don't quit when things get oh. ugly. I'll You've got any messages, Commander? Let's check our messages. And we'll, I'm going to check monsters. Try to come here. Feed the fish as much as we can. So we just saved someone and they sent us an email. Ashley Williams. We have to go there. Ah, uh, poo. Always end up going back. I guess we'll make a quick trip. First, we're going to go to the crew deck. This side. I think. Dr. Tassoni yes. found useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. Why does it cost me money? It doesn't. Okay. Neat. It's like a side bonus. I can't. Why is there even a thing? Useless. Alright. Yeah. All those are my upgrades we have right now. We have store discount and ammo capacity. Neat. I bet there was more. I think I clicked too fast. Oh well. Make sure you read both the options. Hello again, Shepard. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. I'll do the talky stuff. Not as much time. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Non-essential. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Non-essential. Keyword there. Now we'll go here and go back again. To the citadel. Mm -hmm. so we can turn in two pieces that we know we have now. And then we'll go to that meeting and see if they have anything lovely to say. If we have time. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, the hospital's the only place we need to know. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. 
such a big place, we only have a few places we can go. Right, so, run through. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone. But I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. What? This is exactly what I needed. What? Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Help you enjoy those things. Listen to me, those prototypes are vital. We need these biotic upgrades to fight the Reapers. I thought we picked them up. That's what I thought we were going to do. Maybe it was her. Well, let's do a quick circle. Hi, Doctor. Nope, nope, nope. That was empty. And you aren't here. Okay. Darn it. We went from quick to not so quick. Yeah, problem. Let's go check the consulate. Welcome, Commander mm. Shepard. One moment, please. Consulate, whatever. Same-ish thing, right? Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. I think if we go to a human person, because we can't go to anyone else, Ashley should be there. Maybe accepting it. Commander Bailey. Councillor Odina. Yeah, she's not here. Commander. I expect you're curious about Lieutenant Commando Williams. Yes, actually, Ashley I am. said you offered her Spectre status, and that she accepted it. It is true. The Consul is in dire need of loyal agents. Williams is among the first of many. It's about time someone recognized Ashley's contribution. Yes, her service record speaks for itself. She's a survivor, a warrior, and most importantly, she is incorruptible. I will be keeping her close. Do not worry. The time. My schedule has a way of catching up to me. Will this be all? Mm. Yep. I should go. Well, we don't know. I'll be she's... here. Is she like hiding in the corner or something? No. Okay. Well. Is she in the Spectre office? No. Well, poop. Yes, but where is she? This is... Oh. Damn it, we have to go back. Ugh. Oh. This game. No. We can't afford any of the guns, so we're just not going to go back there. Mm -hmm. I like the slow motion run we got going on. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one moment, please. Work time. Someone no, needed Metagel. You? I found this Metagel formula and figured you could make good use of it. <laughs> Where did you find this? Never mm, mind. Spectre it office. Matter. Yes, we can put this to good use. Thank you. Good. That was a simple one. Welcome, Commander Let's get back to Normandy. Please. Maybe we'll be waylaid by Ashley. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. No. no. Doesn't look like it. We have a few more steps. Get out of the way, sir. Thing. Yeah, okay, we'll go and start the summit. Let's see where that takes us. Or should we do this one? 
get everything done, then continue the storyline. Fooled you, thought you were gonna continue, but we're not. I just remembered we haven't done this yet, so. Oh, Signal no. confirmed. Bye, Phil. Oh, we're full. Exactly what I planned on doing. Ben's about to go. God, that's what he wants. We're finding everything so slowly and in the wrong order. Wah. No. Okay, so this could have been done on my time and not yours. I'll turn. I'll turn it in. At Let's see what's here. Oh, I know what's here. And I can't skip it. Huh. You know what's here? <sighs> that. So, another waste of time. Good. I hope you're all enjoying this waste of time. And another visit to Huerta Memorial Hospital. No, I'll do it later. Let's see what they want. Meet the diplomats. Such a weird place. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. I think this is gonna be a And hope this doesn't start another war. Argument. This Krogan is just a glorified thug. How can he speak for his people? By demanding respect, and I suggest the Solarian show some by starting with my name, Erdnot Reeve. Then you can tell me why I'm supposed to give a piss about the Turians. I've already got Reaper scouts sniffing around my own planet. Reeve, spare us the bluster. I'm not a diplomat and neither are you. So stop pretending and just tell us what you want. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. You need our help? Then here's what you're going to do. Cure the Genophage. Absolutely not. The Genophage is non-negotiable. Well, why? why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You hid behind us while we saved you from your own cowardice. Your citadel exists only because the Krogan stopped the Rachni from swallowing it whole. And after that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatras Reeve has a point. Antagonizing him won't solve anything. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know, because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through, then. Was it really a surprise that Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. Unless you enjoy watching infants born without a heartbeat. It's the only thing that's kept the peace. What if you just enough. be nice to each other? Oh. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. That's where you're wrong. I just happen to have some evidence right there here. There was a solarian. In your Mailed. computer. He took some kind of twisted pity on our females and tested a cure on them. It worked. But that scared the piss out of the Dalatras here. So she ordered her goon squads to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It, it could be a fabrication. No more lies! Those females are immune to the genophage, and they belong to me! Dalatras, is this true? How will curing the genophage benefit my people? 
people... Are... How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. Just let them eat them. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? Just let them eat them. The silly frog people. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkash. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for no, centuries I wanna to press come. It. Let's get them! You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. We're not bullying. You're... you're... A bad word. Bad word. Yeah, so we're just jumping right in. Hmm. I like the crew we have, but let's take Garrus and... James. There we go. Keep it changed up. Everyone levels at the same pace, so... Alright, so I'm gonna go back to pistols if we have any good ones. Still gonna go back to pistols. Because it recharges so much faster. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade him. Seriously? Actually, yeah, we can't buy him now, but for now we can do armor piercing and increase the mag size. Helpful. Good. I want you to try out a new weapon. No, no. Yes. Cerberus weapons. Stability, rounds. With them, I always just go for damage, but we don't have that. So, amazing. Why not? And of course, see the most damaged shotgun we can get is equipped. With armor piercing and mods. Perfect. And he should be good. We have some points. I'm gonna go with... Ow. Um... Hmm. Oh, warp. We can go with damage or... Ooh, the detonations go bigger. Let's go with bigger detonations. Those are fun. And once we land, we'll end this episode and finish off. As long as it, well, it's gonna probably be a 10 minute conversation. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I never like talking to Solarians. Not unless they're begging for their life. No offense, Reeve, but let me handle this. Krogan aren't known for being tactful. Just remember, these females belong to me. As the one who cured the genophage, my word will be law over all Krogan clans. <laughs> How exactly Personal did you get the other clans to let you represent them? It was a time-honored tradition of intimidation, threats, and violence. Krogan don't waste energy voicing opinions. We just crush everyone else who has one. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. That's a peaceful building. For holding hostages. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. Once an enemy, always an enemy. Permission denied. We're being waved off approach. Land anyway. You're too polite, Shepard. Reeve, don't! No! Hold! Stand down! Hold your fire! 
Commander Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Reeve. And I'm here to take it back. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <laughs> okay. I can handle this, Reeve. So can my shotgun. <laughs> I'm glad to quit, and I appreciate your understanding, up. Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Something new everywhere you turn. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. Oh, it's gonna be what a little bit longer of an episode, I'm sorry. Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. Touch me, and I'll rip your head off. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments, and meet me near the elevator. No. Alright. Next time we'll meet with Paddock Wicks when ready. Alright, thanks for watching.